Yeah, and just like Jackie said, you know, this is my first time. You know, and I didn't do this for the longest time because, you know, I really, I get real nervous, you know, especially around like a whole lot of people. And, you know, when I get nervous, you know, I start sweating out like hot dog water. You're gonna see it in a few minutes, don't worry. But also on top of that, I start farting a whole lot. I'm like, but it's fun, like these people up front, you guys are good. Because, you know, but before this, I prepared myself, I lined my drawers with nothing but downy sheets, all right? So you feel, you smell all that, you know, the, the ocean breeze? All right, that's me, I got you, all right? But no, during the day, guys, I'm a substitute teacher. And you see, nobody, nobody prepares you for the mmm when you tell people about being a sub. Like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm a teacher. Oh, really, really, what, what subject do you teach? Oh, I'm a sub, mmm. You know, like, like I, don't, I don't do shit, you know? But the worst part about being a sub is I'm at a public school. I was at this real nice private school, you know? The school was gorgeous. Lambos pulling up, dropping off their kids and stuff, you know? And I had to switch to public school because they wouldn't give me any days there. And so, and I, everybody keeps saying, you know, oh, it's probably because, you know, you're black and everything, and like, you gotta chill with that. You can't really just throw that card out that quick, you know? Because as soon as you throw that card out, you know, people, people gotta play it. And so, the, uh, shit, see, look at this. I told you I was already forgetting. See, don't move, 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 don't I had to learn real early not to play that card. Because see, what happened was, when I was little, I was on the soccer team. And I got kicked off the soccer team. Coach said, get your little ass out of here. I don't want to see you again, again. So. That's because he wasn't an asshole. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You know, but nobody sees it my way. So, I get home, of course my mom asked me, so, uh, what are you doing home now? I'm like, well, I quit the team. You know, just kind of thinking, all right, you know, it's going to be squash, then and there, you know, no more questions. And of course comes the, why? Shit. Well, didn't think this part through. So I just went with the first thing that came to my mind. I said, you know what, Mom? I quit because these kids on this team are racist, and they said the N-word, and I don't like it, so I quit. <coughs> and so, and the coach was an asshole. Yeah, fucking bastard. And so, <laughs> and so, I think this is the end of it. Of course, they sent my dad to the school to talk to the coach. Come to find out, he did kick me off the team because I was penguin sliding through puddles instead of running through drills. <laughs> yeah, see, and, and I don't know how many people can relate to this. I know my, my black people in the back here. You ever been whooped so hard that your body just goes into a full seizure? <laughs> it, was, it was ugly. Shit was ugly. But no, see, the, the worst part about being a public school, though, and being a sub, is everybody thinks that it's, you know, the kids are, are mean or the kids just, you know, don't, they're dumb. No, the worst part is the parking lot, because they put that shit right next to where the kids walk in. And so I feel like I'm doing okay as a person. You know, I, I have myself a Hyundai, a Hyundai Accent. You know, and I know it's funny, and some of you guys that may not know the car, it's about, yay tall, about as tall as one of the midgets. Right, it's about yay tall. You know, and the kids see like, hey, Mr. Robinson. You need to borrow some Vaseline to get in the car? <laughs> and I went out to line the doors and shit to get in the bitch. <laughs> All right, so the worst, the worst part about that, the whole thing is the bitch breaks down. All right, so then I'm getting with the option, you only have two options. You either gotta ride the bus or you get a ride from a coworker. So, 
I'm just telling my friends the story about how my car broke down, how I'm not knowing what the hell I'm gonna do. And one of my boys, see, Fred, he had his own van and everything, but he was in a wheelchair. And so I was like, oh, you know what? You know, it's not, maybe that's not that bad. But see, Fred didn't have that shit, you know, with the wheels on the side, and he's, he's spinning like that. He had the fully automatic shit. But it was the full body shit, the one where you gotta, you know, adjust your seat with the, with the little blow thing. And he had a cold. And I was like, you know what? Get up now. Because see, going up 95, he's going to sneeze and I'm going right off the road and get my fat ass right off the damn car. Be in the middle of 95, and everybody, you see, everybody here, because you're guilty of it too, as, as soon as you see some type of accident, you know, like, oh, I feel so bad for him. First thing you think is, I'm sitting in traffic for three and a half hours. Fuck that guy. <laughs> and that's not how I'm going out. That's not how I'm going out. Just because, you know, I might have been a little nervous and I might have caused him to sneeze with, with one of my farts that he was prepared ahead of time. But thank you guys for that.